Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be very short and sweet and to the point. It's in response to a comment that I received on my video, how to let a man lead the relationship. And the comment reads, you contradicted yourself by saying that you shouldn't play hard to get and then saying that you should establish a friendship first and shouldn't jump into a relationship with him. Playing hard to get is exactly that. Okay. I would have to disagree. There is a complete difference between playing hard to get and letting a man control the movement and the direction of a relationship. So as women, you want to make your desire be known and then surrender and then let go. If I were to tell a man, hey, I absolutely love our time together, I'm having so much fun on our dates, but I'm going to continue keeping my options open until I'm completely off the market in a divine union. That is not playing hard to get. In that situation, you're simply expressing your desire. Then it's up to the man to decide if he wants to pursue you and to pour his energy and time into you. So no, you're not playing hard to get. Playing hard to get is when you're sending mixed signals, you're being very unclear, and you're not being direct in terms of what it is that you're looking for, what it is that you're hoping to accomplish. Playing hard to get would look something like telling a man that yes, you're going to commit to him and be his girlfriend, but meanwhile, you're still on dating apps or you're still entertaining other options. That is playing hard to get because in that sense, you are playing, you're playing a game, you're not being clear, you're not being direct. That is not what I talk about on my channel, that is not what I share on my channel, that is not what I recommend on my channel. I am all about being fully honest and transparent and direct direct when it comes to your desires and what you are looking for. So my response to this lady was playing hard to get is when you confuse a man and don't reveal your intentions. Establishing a friendship first and letting him lead the relationship is not playing hard to get. It allows the man to be in his masculine and take charge of progressing the relationship. So as you can see, there is a clear difference between letting a man be in his masculine, letting him lead the relationship, you you know whether he wants one or not and then you surrendering to that you are very direct and clear about what you're looking for that is expressed in your dating profile that's something you're reiterating when you go on dates but you are staying true to that desire Okay. Playing hard to get is sending mixed signals, doing the whole confuse him thing, um, waiting three days to respond to a message. That is playing hard to get. And if you have watched my videos, that is not what I talk about at all. I am all about showing interest in a man if you are interested. You know, sending those signals so that he knows that you're on the same page as him. On my channel, I do talk about always keep it friendly, always keep it easy and natural, and let the man deal with what the next step is. You don't need to be voicing those things. You can simply say, yes, I would love to get married one day. That doesn't mean that you are now chasing him and becoming the masculine and trying to get him to marry you. No, no, no. You're going to voice your desires, your needs, your wants, and then you're going to surrender, sit back, and let him take lead and take charge, okay? So that is what I recommend my clients to do. That's what I re recommend all of you guys to do. And I just really wanted to make this distinction between playing hard to get versus just simply stating your desires and letting the man make it a reality, okay? So we are not playing hard to get. We are not playing any games for that matter. I hope that this video cleared up any confusion. If you would like help with your specific situation and you want more one-on-one -on -one assistance, then I do offer dating coaching. The details are down below in the description so you can contact me via email there. I will see you all very, very soon. Bye!